Yeah, hello guys, let's get into the video. So I am able to spoof freely in Redmi 4A. This is my friend's phone, which is using MIUI software. So, and I think I got reports that your Play Services is auto updating. We will fix that in this video and check out my previous video on how to find Google Play Services of your version you just need to know the package under the package name there is the architect built arm64 or arm everything you need to remember that name and find that play services that works for you so i'm using fgl pro and yeah it's working fine you can see just yes, it lags the screen sometimes it freezes the screen and I'm able to spoof after that so you can see Ratata has appeared and yeah this joystick is working why is this working in redmi phone because I have downgraded the play services to 12.6.85 and it's pretty easy to do it so let's stop everything and show you the place services now. Okay. As you can see, you need to go to the settings, installed apps, Sh click on show system app if you can't find play services. Uh, I have enabled it already. So 12.6.85. Just clear data is 12.8.87. Just you need to clear data and uninstall updates, force stop, and then you need to note down the number that is in this bracket. Beside the version in the bracket, there is the version code. So you need to copy paste or type that code manually in any of the browsers available in google and search it directly you will get the version directly by apk mirror so you will be able to see the built architect built and everything after doing that match the build number with all variants of downgraded play services of the previous version of play services to downgrade it so Redmi phones mostly you have ARM64 bit, ARM64 V7A plus ARM64 uh, V8A something like that. So if you need to install the correct version. You're, if you are using a Lollipop, KitKat and everything it is 4.0 plus 5.0 plus and if you are using Marshmallow or KitKat marshmallow sorry marshmallow or nougat marshmallow and nougat both 6.0 plus both same 6.0 plus versions only oreo needs 8.8.0 plus so you can see i have clicked on 12.6.85 and air of ARM build and it's minimum i have clicked on minimum target Lollipop and maximum is kit care uh, uh, no good for it. So let's find the no DPA version of 7.0. So 7.0 is not listed, so you need to install 6.0 plus no DPI ARM64 ARM V7A plus ARM64 V8A like that. So here is the no DPA version. You can see no dpi is the important thing so you will be able to install correct version of yours it will not give you corrupted uh, error corrupted uh, package and everything cannot be installed no errors like that just you need to select no dpa version of the package name package uh, the, that what we say no package name of your architect build the build number should match so let's wait for the download button if it is gray wait for the countdown and you will be able to download it 
after downloading you need to clear cache and everything after that you need to install that app directly i have already downloaded it and uh, installed it so i am not doing that steps you guys remember to do after downloading the apk after you have uninstalled the play services of the latest version you need to install the old version of play services that is 12.6.85 and it will work again so after that the issue major issue is auto updating how to stop auto updating from this how to stop auto updating you need to uninstall the play store latest version play store you need to go to the factory version of play store clear data for stop and in mobile data in that data usage of redmi phones data usage switch off the background data usage so you have understand now switch off the background data usage in data usage of app info of play service play store you will not be able to do this in play services you can't go to data usage in play services so go to data usage of play store clear data because play store is updating the play services so keep in mind nothing to do with play services everything is done by play store so we need to go to app battery saver again so go to app battery saver let it load okay so we will find the play store here there is a place to know place to here so click on the three vertical dots and show system apps so now i will be able to see the play store there is a play store okay not in p okay google play store let's see in google play store and we will find it here is the google play store keep in restrict background activity restrict background activity and the final step you need to do to prevent auto updates is yes off your syncs restrict in background data data activity and restrict background data activity next later is syncs here is the syncs if it is enabled please disable it so it will not not auto update any time but if you want to get mails gmail and everything you just need to sync it and check if something is updating in background if you see play service is getting updated click on it and click on x cancel it cancel the update so now go to the settings google remove instant apps if you have installed already i have not installed the google instant app because nothing of none of the email has been selected to it so it never gets installed secretly go to instant apps if you have given any of your emails cancel it and also click on data management uh, not uh, okay okay not directly click on three vertical dots and clear data <coughs> clear app data and also uses diagnostic keep it off it will take background data if you click it, keep it on and might also trigger syncs and ultimately leads to update of play services after doing everything after clearing data clear cache play store and everything preventing the play services auto update you can switch off the phone reboot your phone and yeah, i got morning a message that play services has rolled back in our previous video we have appro uh, we have flagged it appropriate so now you can see that the play store install button is gone and the version is 12.6.85 so no update button available it will not get auto updated and anything and thanks to all these reviews all these negative reviews by us and my viewers thanks to that the play services has rolled back again and we can play pokemon go again and every spoofing app that you used to work used to work for your mobile will work once more so yeah enjoy spoofing